My name is James, and now me and my partner Fanny is going to explain about our research presentation. Our research title is Innovation of Bio Hand Sanitizer Based Tiger Prawn Shell, Pineapple Skin, Aloe Vera, and Coconut Shell Liquid Smoke. Our research background is that we want to design a hand sanitizer that is safe for the skin since normal hand sanitizers have horrible side effects on the skin, particularly during this new normal situation where hand sanitizers is used commonly. Our objective in this research is that we want to examine the effectiveness of bio hand sanitizer based pineapple skin, aloe vera, and coconut shell liquid smoke in obstructing the growth of Staphylococcus aureus and to figure out the potential of organic materials as an alternative to hand sanitizer. According to previous research, many organic materials such as pineapple skin, aloe vera, and coconut shell liquid smoke have the potential to be the substitute for alcohol in the manufacturing of hand sanitizers. This is because those organic materials have substances such as bromelain, carotenoids, flavonoids, vitamin C, saponins, flavonoids, polyphenols, tannins, phenol, carbonyl, and acetic compounds that can obstruct bacterial growth. Staphylococcus aureus bacteria consists of a thick layer of peptidoglycan marker molecules and a layer of cell membrane composed of proteins, lipids, and tachycic acid. Aquates, also known as distilled water, can act as a solvent in making hand sanitizer. After countless considerations, it is decided that this experiment will not use the tiger prawn shell because it is difficult to find during this pandemic situation. Moreover, there is only a short time limit for permission to go to the laboratory for experiment. The dependent variable is the different concentration of organic materials. The independent variable is the bacterial inhibition zone diameter to examine the effectiveness of organic materials as a substitute for alcohol in the manufacture of hand sanitizers. The control variable is the same room temperature, petri dish size, time duration, and mass of Na. The positive control group is hand sanitizer with 60% alcohol, while the negative control group is ethanol 30%. The apparatus needed for this experiment are autoclave, bensan, hot plate, analytical scale, laminar airflow, petri dish, water bath, owl rod, pipette, jar, blender, filter paper, beaker glass, spatula, micro pipette, incubator, and paper disc. The materials needed for this experiment are pineapple skin, aloe vera, coconut shell liquid smoke, nutrient agar powder, aqua dust, 96% ethanol, hand sanitizer with 60% alcohol, and staphylococcus aureus bacteria. In doing the experiment, first we sterilize stool, second dilute ethanol followed by creating an extract, fourth create a nutrient agar media, next we made the bio hand sanitizer, and to do the test, we need to dilute ethanol as a control group. And lastly, test the effectivity of the bio hand sanitizer. This picture shows the result of the experiment. Based on the data, 7.5% concentration of pineapple skin, oliferin, and coconut shell liquid smoke is proven to have the largest diameter inhibition zone of bacteria compared to the others. Bromelain has anti-adhesion properties to prevent the attachment of bacterial glycoprotein receptors to the intestinal mucosa. It means that bromelain prevents any bacterial adhesion. Flavonoids cause damage to the permeability of bacterial cell walls, microsomes, and lysosomes. It happens because of the interaction between flavonoids and bacterial DNA. Besides, it can inhibit energy metabolism by inhibiting the use of oxygen by bacteria. Saponin can cause leakage of protein and enzymes from within the cell. Saponin has surface active substances that are similar to detergent. Carotenoids react with porins which are transmembrane proteins of an outer membrane bacterial cell wall that act as a pore. It will reduce the permeability of bacterial cell wall and will result in the bacterial cell being deficient in nutrients. Tannin breaks cell wall polypeptides so that the formation of cell walls become less than perfect. Since there is osmotic pressure and physical pressure causes bacterial cells to become lysed until it dies. Phenol compounds can kill microorganisms by denaturing their cell proteins. The hydrogen bonds formed between phenol and protein cause the protein structure to be damaged. Without the protection of the outer membrane, the cell will get easily damaged. 
Vitamin C is an antioxidant that works in extracellular fluids because it has a high solubility in water. It can reduce hydrogen peroxide, hydroxyl radicals, and other reactive oxygen. It is proven that the formulation with 7.5% is the most effective formulation percentation of tract in the growth of Staphylococcus aureus. This probably happens because of pH level. Based on a research conducted by Susanti and Rosanti in 2020 titled Pengaruh Penambahan Gel Aloe Vera Terhadap Efektivitas Antiseptic Gel, stated that 7.5% of aloe vera have around neutral pH level. If the concentration increased, then the pH level will decrease, making the mixture acidic, whereas the lower the concentration is, the higher the pH level will be, making the mixture wet. Therefore, 7.5% is the most effective in obstructing Staphylococcus aureus, probably because it has a perfect pH level, not too high and not too low. The conclusion for this research are bio hand sanitizers consisting of pineapple skin, aloe vera, and coconut shell liquid smoke are a successful substitute to hand sanitizers because based on the experiment, it is successful in obstructing the growth of Staphylococcus aureus. The second conclusion of this research is the best percentage use of the bio hand sanitizer extract is at 7.5%. It is proven by the provided data and analysis above that the bio hand sanitizer extract at 7.5% has the best result in obstructing Staphylococcus aureus compared to those of the 5% extract and 10% extract. The future work of this research are future researchers can test this formulation of bio hand sanitizer towards different types of bacteria to see its effectiveness in preventing bacteria's growth. Besides, they can also use other ingredients that also consist of chemicals found in pineapple skin and aloe vera, knowing that this is effective in obstructing the growth of Staphylococcus aureus. In the future, future researchers can use different natures in combining the extract of aloe vera, pineapple skin, and coconut shell liquid smoke. Other than that, they can also explore more advantages of the formulation in other manufacturing fields, such as food and technology. Thank you for listening to our video. We hope you enjoy it. Thank you.